So the rationale between um, the knowledge that we work with is that uh, there is a growing need to really understand startups better. And startups are different in so many ways when we compare to traditional businesses. And it's a whole different skill set to be able to create something out of nothing than to, to operate an existing business or, um, or basically to operate in a specific function in a specific um, existing business. Also, we know uh, this is a, from a research uh, from Kaufman Foundation from a few years back, and they also do this uh, annually uh, from a, a little bit of different perspectives. That uh, it's really the, the ecosystems that help breed the new startups and that also create maturity of the new jobs, as well as they are the attraction for international talent and uh, foreign investment. So the ecosystems are really the key enables of digital economy, where also the, net, the, the, the better the network, the ecosystem and the network within that is connected uh, within the ecosystem and also across different ecosystems where uh, startups aim to grow and establish their uh, growth business. Um, that's the key factor for the for the growth overall, both in local economy, but also um, more broadly between ecosystems as well. So this is a, a very descriptive picture that tells the story of, of, of why such um, kind of uh, knowledge and frameworks and tools are needed, is that there's a lot of information out there where it's where there is, is sometimes even uh, contradictory information where one thing looking it from a different perspective or looking at, at the different development phase of a startup looks very different than if it's applied at the different um, phase of a startup or even the terminologies oftentimes are misunderstood between different parties while they can effectively be talking about things that they are doing in context of startups, but in fact, they are to talking of two different types of companies altogether. Someone may be talking about small business, someone may be talking more of a scale-up scale, scale up level company, and someone may be talking um, about tra more traditional SME that is not even intending to scale. So, so it's important to understand the context and the definitions of, of different things uh, when developing these, uh, these various items within the ecosystems and, of course, developing the startups themselves. So, basically, what we are looking to build and utilize the concept of standards, and we all know how the world has developed when there was less connectivity and less standards in the in the history when it was much harder to uh, work cross borders and when the world was not as global as it is today and definitely it was not as digital. So we have entire countries that have whole traffic driving in the different lanes and all of us people who travel more, we come across this simple but very annoying thing of you know, different type of sockets everywhere. And at the same time, we definitely seek for those Wi-Fi spots when we travel and we really appreciate the standards that those enable um, as well as we like our mobile phones to work in different countries uh, with seemingly uh, and hopefully at reasonable data pricing rates. <laughs> so the key really to, to simplify the essence of these standards is to, to help bring more of the common things Across the board and invite everyone to take part in that, uh, creating that that common open standard instead of having uh, it driven by individual efforts that often get waste lost after they choose a different position if they are doing that as independent. Also, a lot of work done through different uh, 
development projects, once the projects are done, a lot of the, the, the work that was done is actually lost and disappeared uh, in reports that are uh, either piled under new reports or are disappearing from the, the radar because they get outdated. Not necessarily that the knowledge in them gets outdated, it's just people see them outdated because the, they are from, you know, several years back. So we really uh, focus on this type of perspective in, in all of the materials that, that we work with. So we call this open standard uh, framework and it basically means that uh, under Creative Commons it can be used uh, freely uh, only to, to refer to source so that people can see if modifications are made or if there are newer versions available. It, the changes can also be applied and suggested um, and they can be published um, with additional contributions uh, by us or by those who create them uh, directly. So that's the, the basic model of the Creative Commons. So uh, this is the key framework that we have created over years and this is a version 3.6. And uh, basically, there's a, in our website a whole history of this document uh, from the very early begin beginnings. I don't, I think it was 2012 that the first version was created, and uh, it has been iterated ever since to to while trying to keep it in one picture uh, to include the key terminology and key elements of um, different development phases in such a way that it can help communicate uh, for all the different parties working with startups uh, or those building uh, startups themselves. Um, so through this framework and this lens, we can then also look at many things within the ecosystem and, uh, and also build more understanding uh, between various things that are happening with startups and ecosystems. The Growth Academy um, curriculum itself is, as said, also open source. We just released it, I think, a couple of weeks back um, as an open source. Um, we have previously done um, these as offline trainings and made sure that the material has been iterated for, for, far, far enough with enough feedback and, and, and changes uh, to keep it uh, globally neutral and helpful for all the ecosystems uh, around the world. And we really focus on uh, communicating things through this journey, startup journey and the milestones within that. In addition, we connect to the sources of other global expertise, research and statistical data to back up um, the, the topics covered in, in this material. And uh, it's divided to these uh, five modules um, where the, the first one uh, we covered earlier and now we are in this module 1b to reflect um, the holistic perspective of the whole journey from the support functions uh, viewpoint and advisory viewpoint more. And then the following modules uh, we will deep dive into three of the key segments within that journey with uh, more practical tools and more tactics and more um, um, template formats and more guidance into how a startup should focus and what type of uh, targets it should aim to and what kind of metrics apply and so forth on the, its different states as well as rational and additional resources uh, behind those as well. So the knowledge that we are uh, communicating is based on combination of um, personal experience combined with uh, personal research and practical work uh, in different ecosystems and different functions within the ecosystem, as well as combined with um, um, volume of feedback through individuals, through partners we have worked through other serial entrepreneurs, 
investors and so forth um, for refining and iterating the material. Uh, as a method, we have really looked this, tried to look this from as many perspectives as possible and try to neutralize it from the perspective that it, it doesn't assume, for example, that there is always investment capital available in the startup ecosystem, or it doesn't assume that the startup is created in a, in a um, uh, developed economy or for a big market, but that the, the, these practices and concepts apply to anywhere where um, the innovation entrepreneurship is um, driven by the entrepreneurs themselves and the supporting um, actors around them. And together, through different maturity levels of the startup ecosystem, these different aspects for, for, um, for developing angel in investing, developing digital uh, funding opportunities, developing different support functions, and connecting the theoretical learnings to more practical mentoring and advisory that can go much deeper into specific startup in question that these can work in parallel. So the digital content is not meant to replace uh, the, the, the activities that are done offline and in person. It's meant to help extend the, the reach and availability of this knowledge and free the focus time of those who do one-to-one -one and in-person activities to dive deep, take a deeper dive in a specific topic or a specific group of startups or a specific business vertical or a specific individual startup in question. So our approach is really to help visualize um, this knowledge and give an index into the startup and startup ecosystem to find uh, a model where the different things can be connected to how this framework can be used to communicate, to help list uh, different items, for example, what services are relevant for what development phases or an investor to communicate at what development phases they are looking to invest um, or for mentors of what development phases they have best knowledge to contribute towards or, or so forth. Even to in an event, to list the events on what type of knowledge is available and so forth. As well as matching, for example, um, the, the event relevant to a startup or entrepreneurs at the specific development phase and so forth. And ultimately, this framework is also key towards enabling the digital connectivity and data flow, because in digital world, there needs to be much more standard about terminology, about data models to be able to connect different um, um, applications and software systems uh, with each other and to share information in those systems. They require more uh, standards in place. And this is one way that it also contributes uh, for the di digital development. And as such, it's relevant for, for our work as well. So for almost a decade, we have worked with um, international financiers, national and local ecosystems and governments around the world uh, to help develop these different functions. Um, but in addition, uh, to much deeper research uh, that we have started to done uh, systematically in the past six years. Uh, we have accumulated a lot of new knowledge and uh, tons and tons of uh, um, reports have been built uh, with individual ecosystems. And every time we do that work, we look for those uh, synergistic um, aspects. And we, we publish as much of that information uh, to broad audience as is made available through those involved with, with the needs of the, the development projects. And we really encourage sharing for everyone um, because this is the best type of information 
and most effective uh, resources for each party uh, involved.